guys, welcome. Welcome to week one of CGT Champions of Galar Tournament, uh, aka COG. Today we're taking on Pat Mac and the Sacramento Sandslash. Um, if you watched my draft analysis, I swore to you that if you had watched my week one, which is this video, I would tell you my schedule, because I think it's a fun schedule. So, guys, I'm not a liar. I'm going to tell you my sketch, and it's going to be a good one. So, facing Pat Mac first. You guys might know him. He's my bro. We run the YCL together, sort of. He does a lot of the work. I don't really do anything. Uh, I play Vepsis in week two. Now, if you know me and you know Vepsis, this is a huge game. He's like the last, um, like, titan of Draft League that I've never faced, and, uh, with, I mean, at least as far as, like, Wi-Fi goes. So that's a massive game for me, and I've been stoked to face him for, like, the better part of two years, and, uh, it's finally happening. And then we got Kurt and Lars here. These are two guys I've never played, so that's pretty exciting. And then I've got... One, two, three, four, five games, uh, which are rematches from games I've had in different leagues. And, uh, you know, all excellent opponents. Now, let's get into week one. We've got me, re me versus Pac Mac. So if you hear some giggling in the background, uh, my good friend Matt is here. And uh, as well as my lovely fiance Mel. Bonsai! <laughs> Bonsai. Um, Matt, if you watched my first ever CGT game against Matt O'Shea, Matt was present for that game. And so we thought it would be fun to uh, bring Matt back for <gasps> CGT. <laughs> oh my god. My cat is being such an asshole. He's <laughs> attempting to scratch Matt's foot. Dude, please don't. No. All right, Mel's gonna save the day. But um, he uh, you know, we're we're back. Matt was here for <laughs> my first CGT game, and he's back for my first CGT game, season two. Guys, I've said too much. Full circle, baby. Full circle. That's the philosophy for season two of CGT. Full circle. What does it mean, you ask? <sighs> <laughs> That's a square! <laughs> That's a square. It's more of a rectangle. So, we're facing Pat Mac. He's got a pretty scary team. He's got the Garchomp, he's got the Cartana, Slowbro, etc. Uh, let's get into my team. You've probably been staring at this graphic for a while, so you probably have his team memorized. So, let's get into my team um, and who I'm bringing this week. We First of all, we've got the Stig. Now, uh, if you know the Stig, you know he's fast, and he's got he's got some moves, and he's gonna be good. Next, Ladius. Ladius is a mostly a slow bro switch in, and toxic to wear down pretty much everything that's not Cartana, but Cartana gets like easily to a KO'd by Ice Beam, so I'm not super worried about uh, the lack of coverage there. Again, Thunderbolt for slow bro because Slowbro can kind of stall Ladius out uh, if it toxics me due to Regenerator, so Thunderbolt I thought would be handy to try and wear it down a little more. Uh, we have Rillaboom. Now he's got Moltres, which is like the ultimate switch in to Rillaboom, so I was thinking knockoff, U-turn, Leech Seed are all pretty nice ways to get a little bit of progress on Moltres, uh, depending on the situation. And protective pads stops me from getting like the potential burn chance from coming in contact with Moltres. Um, we've got RK9 with the Intimidate and the Rocky Helmet. This is almost strictly a check to Kartana. Beautiful switch into Kartana. Also really nice for Ribombi, which I think is pretty good against my team. So if he brings that, I've got a check to that as well. We've got Cash Money, the Blastoise. Oh, now this is a mod. Uh, this mod can sweep. I just need to weaken Snorlax a little bit. If he brings Snorlax, I need it a little bit weakened. And then I just need to bring this mod in on, say, like Moltres or something. 
and if I shell smash, I should be able to destroy the rest of his mods. Lastly, we have Diancy. This is my rock setter. Um, diamond press, or sorry, diamond storm body press is nice uh, for Moltres and Snorlax. Moonblast is nice for Garchomp and Grimmsnarl. And then rocks, of course, you know, you gotta have your rocks. So, that's my team. Uh, feeling pretty good about this. You know, I'm, I'm hoping he doesn't bring Zerkatry, because I didn't prep for that at all, I'm realizing. Uh, I'm hoping he doesn't bring Grimmsnarl, because that mod is annoying as hell. And, uh, yep, that's the gist of it. Catch you guys uh, in literally one second. Okay guys, we're just uh, waiting for Patmac here, and so I want to um, go over a little fun game that uh, my friends and I do that I'm going to incorporate into this Pokemon battle. So sometimes we play Pokemon Stadium, like the N64 game, and uh, it's we use it as a pre-drink method for when we go out, and we or just like when we're having a good time. And want to play some Pokemon, and uh, the idea is you do a shot every time when your Pokemon faints, upwards of six shots per battle. So, because I have some friends here uh, and who can help me by pouring some shots while I play, I don't have to focus on, you know, doing my own shots. I decided this is the perfect opportunity. You know, first game CGT. Let's kick it off with some fucking Poke shots, right? So, <clears throat> every time, now I'm not going to do a full shot every time because, you know, it's, it's a bit early for that and, and what? we're doing half a shot. Early in the night? Yeah. It's 10.30. I've got a lot of night to go. <laughs> uh, point being, I don't want to get, you know, blackout drunk by 11 and then have to go to bed. That's, get goosed. I don't want to get too goosed. So I'm going to do a half shot per death, Pokemon death, faint, you know, it's not, they're not dying, they're not dying, they're just fainting. And the best part is, Mel acquired Mountain Dew um, Flame and Hot. Get a load of this. This is like the ultimate gamer fuel. You thought Mountain Dew alone was good? You thought Flame and Hot Cheetos? was good. Try putting them together, idiots. Now you've got the perfect chase. So I've got some Jameson whiskey and uh, we're gonna do one just to kick things off here. Um, you know, regardless of... This won't count if I lose them on. I'm just doing this. And we're gonna sample Flamin' Hot Mountain Dew for the first time. <laughs> because you know, I don't love chugging whiskey, and I sometimes like to have a chaser. Now, I don't know if this is going to make anything better. It might make things much worse, but we're going to find out. So, you know, bottoms up. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's better than, like, doing straight whiskey, I think. Yeah, it's weird. It's like uh, Mountain Dew with some spice. I guess that's as advertised. <laughs> it's fucking weird. No Cheeto though. I need to have a sip without the whiskey. You know what? It's not bad. <laughs> okay guys, welcome back guys. We've done, so I misinterpreted his uh, timing, CST, PST, EST, who knows what's up. So I've uh, been waiting longer than I should have because I'm stupid. And so, you know, I've done maybe one of these Mountain Dew shots, you know, and probably going to do another one. Uh, okay, sorry, I need, need to focus here. So he didn't bring Snorlax? Holy shit. Oh, thank you, Matt. Matt just gave me a shot. Okay, he didn't bring Snorlax, he brought Rabombi, which I'm not surprised he brought Rabombi, because I think Rabombi's good here. I'm just surprised Snorlax did not show up at all. So that's pretty sickening, to be honest. Um, 
but he did bring Grimstarl, so if I try and sweep with Blastoise, probably need Grimstarl to be dead, so that light screen doesn't go up. Um, right. I think I'm going to lead Dancy, because I think he either leads Grimstarl or Garchomp, and, uh, or should I go Weavile? I could, mm, I'm gonna go Weavile, because I think he's gonna, oh fuck. I think he leads Garchomp. I could be wrong. We'll see what happens. Stig. The Stig. All I know is, he's called the Stig. Little, uh, <clears throat> little top gear for you guys. <clears throat> if you guys like Top Gear. We've got Bell. Okay, this is also a fine scenario. Because I think he needs to be aware that I can triple axle him and knock him out even if he's Sash. But I also don't want to take a Sash Moonblast. So I'm gonna go Arcanine and hope that he just U-turns uh, or something. Maybe break his sash would be U-turns. Potench. And go straight for Moonblast. So he's probably... I mean, if I had Axel, I'd probably uh, not commit. But that's okay. I think... Do I just Flamethrower here? I think I just... Uh, teleport into Deancey. If he stays in, sure. Okay, sick. I break his sash, I think, with my helmet. That's great. And I get the momentum. How much did he do to me there? I don't think he's like specs, basically. So that's good. <clears throat> um... So, if you didn't watch my team builder, my game plan is to chip down Snorlax, who didn't come to the game. So, my new game plan, well basically the plan is to, um, okay, it goes with this Mon, I think I'll go Laddie. Uh, my plan is to sweep with Blastoise, but I need I guess I need Grimstarl dead, essentially. I don't think he stays in, but he might try and toxic me. But I'm okay to toxic him back if he does that. He doesn't want to do that. He goes to... Okay, this is good. Oh, he's Frisk, too. That's actually sick, because I don't think he's, um... Screens, then. If he's Frisk, then he might be offensive. And if he's offensive, I guess I can go Arcanine and just uh, Morning Sun? I'm curious what he has. I don't think he has... I don't think Grimstarl gets toxic because it's Gen 8. It's a Gen 8 mod. And uh, Gen 8 was very... How you say? Stingy. On giving up the move Toxic. This is a Grim Snarl. Okay. Uh, it's fairy and dark type. I thought that was your actual opponent. Oh, <laughs> you thought that was. Uh, <laughs> my friend thought Grim Snarl was my opponent's avatar, which would be pretty cool. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Is he gonna bulk up? What's he gonna do? He switches. Okay. Shark Week. Good name. Damn. 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 <laughs> Good uh, double on his part. So he can, I guess, set up rocks or try an earthquake. Fucking hell, eh? That's a good switch on his part. Good thing uh, I did an ice beam. Now why would I? So I think I want to go Rillaboom and uh, knock off? 
It's a bit early to try and go Laddie, I think, in case he tries to scale shot or something right off the bat. I don't know if he would, but you never know, right? He goes for rocks, okay. He's got the rocks up. I need my own rocks. That's how I feel about that. I will knock off because if Moltres comes in and then I get rocks up later, I'm in a great spot. And honestly, getting... Okay. Yeah, this is good. Unless he U-turns, I should be able to switch in Dancy and get my own rocks up. Uh, that's like mech defense or something. Oh, I forgot about my health bar here. What are we at? That's 30... 30%. Which if I look at Rillaboom... That was like a max roll if he's max defense. So he's probably not max defense. He's probably got some speed or something. I will... Honestly? I'm probably faster than him is the problem. So I'll U-turn. I'd like to stay in to kind of call him on it. Oh, he's faster than me. Shit. Should live. Yeah. Okay, that was... Uh... I guess a risky move. I didn't think he'd be so fast. But... Damn. I gotta check if Rillaboom even lives the next round of Stealth Rock. Cause he might not. And that's bad. What is he at? 25 HP? I do live the next round. That's 13%. And 12 will kill. So. Fucking big. Um. Yeah, I think I just go rocks here, right? Still early. Might as well get him up. Oh yeah, because especially because he's uh, knocked off. Slow bro. OG. Looking like a. Goddamn idiot out there. <laughs> but that's his whole MO, you know? He's... Don't be fooled. True broken bastard. Go laddie. Quick little laddie here. Again. If I lose, real boom. Sure, that sucks. Guys? That would suck, guys. But. I just need. Uh, Grim Snarl, basically dead. Pretty much completely dead. So he can't light screen. Oh no, wait, but he was Frisk. So, oh my god. As soon as I get Blastoise in, I'm looking good, I think. I need some chip on this guy. Okay, who did he go last time? Oh, he went Grim Snarl last time. I will just Thunderbolt, in case he tries that again. Oh, he stays in. Okay. Wow, I think he's AB. I think he's AB. No freeze. Good. He's either max... Uh... Ow. I think he's AB. I should have recovered there, but that's okay. I can recover next time if he stays in. If he doesn't freeze me. I should have recovered there. Okay. This is good, because Slowbro is one of the mods I need chip on for, for Blastoise. Okay, I got lucky. Double lucky there, to be honest. And now I should be able to just keep roosting until he gets fully parried or or whatever. <laughs> like he's probably gonna switch right here, right? But this is good. That's the exact probably chip I need for Blastoise to... Although he could be Culverberry. In that case, he'll still take a hit. 
from Dark Pulse. No, he's not Colbert, he's fucking AV. I know this! I know this! I gotta fucking pay attention. Oops. Okay, this Mon comes in. Last time he doubled out, which was a cool, smart move. Uh, this time... Like, the fact that he's Frisk... Makes me think he's not support. And if he's not support, he's probably offensive. And if he's offensive, then I think Diancy checks him pretty well. So we're gonna try that. Diancy's a bit more... I can play Diancy a bit looser now that Moltres doesn't have the boots. Because Moltres is going to take 50% each time it comes in. From the rocks. You know? You know what I'm saying, guys? What I don't know is Slowbro's EVs. He he could be Max Fidef, I think, maybe. I don't know. But that's okay. He doubles again, son of a bitch. Kind of legend over here. Yeah, okay. He goes into bro. I'm actually fine to stay in, I think, and just attack. Because I want to keep this asshole low. <laughs> oh, but he's AV, that's right. So I'm not going to do much. But he's got to think Laddie comes in, right? And if not, he doubles to... Cartana. And Moonblast should do a decent chunk anyway. Well, Moonblast, I think that's the plan. So he stays in. And honestly, if. Yeah, he Ice Beam's predicting Laddie. That makes sense. He's Ice Beamed enough times that if I get frozen, I can't get mad. But I'm gonna still get mad. Okay, I think now he switches. Or goes for Scald. It's not it's not cash money time yet. I need to get cash money in without taking any damage. So basically as soon as he kills one of my mons. I do a shot and then <laughs> I shell smash, depending on who's in. Okay. If it's slow bro, I'm happy to do that. If Moltres comes in and gets a kill, happy for that as well. I am so Okay, so this fucker is not boots. That's a that's what we thought. I thought he would be um Now I'm not sure what to do. So... I could try and set up on him. But if he Moonblasts Blastoise and gets a special attack drop, that kind of ruins my whole plans. I could just go dance. I'm gonna do that. I think that's fine. Because Dancy takes a hit, and threatens him back, and cannot get the special attack drop thanks to um, clear body. Sticky web. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> that throws the plan in jeopardy. Because I don't have uh, defog or anything. Okay. I might have to win this one without Blastoise. Okay, um, Sticky Web, damn. I don't know why I didn't think you'd bring it, but I just didn't think you'd bring it. Moonblast does not kill from here, but he might just stay in an attack, so I'm gonna go for it. Diamond Storm, that is. Okay. Symbiosis, this asshole on. So, the problem is here, the sticky web. Is that a crit? 
Oh, he's just like hella not defensive. Maybe he's not even AV. I could probably kill him here. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Sticky Web uh, is a, an entry hazard that when my mods switch in, their speed lowers by one. And so my Blastoise, who's in, who I'm intending on sweeping with, uh, it only works if he's the max speed that I set him for. Uh, okay. I mean, it could still work in theory. The problem is, if he has a mon that has a choice scarf item, such as this asshole mon. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> Sorry, what is this is Cartana. This was actually uh oh, that's an origami. Oh, I dodged it. That's You've had Cartana before. Terrible for me. Yeah. That's, that's a piece of paper floating in the wind. Um literally it, it is a piece of paper. Um <laughs> floating in the wind. Floating hundred percent in the wind. Uh yeah, I had Cartana in my last league. And uh it was arguably my MVP. It was definitely my kill leader. Okay, I'm gonna sell you ass on this. I found a Pokemon in the uh, Not pieces of paper. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know if you guys heard that, but Matt is perplexed that a Pokemon can be a piece of paper. And I agree. I remember the first time I saw a Clef Key, and I was fucking stunned at the audacity of Game Freak. You know? You made a Pokemon a literal pair of keys? Like, come on. I mean, pair is not the right word, but a set, a set, a set, a set of keys, a set, of, you know, a literal set of keys is is you decided to make a Pokemon? Come off it, you know. You grew up on Arcanine, this beautiful majestic creature, and then it's like, oh, our new Pokemon is, uh, yeah, it's like some keys, I think. Yeah, it's like, it's good. And then we got a floating piece of paper in the way. <laughs> yeah, now our newest one, piece of paper. <laughs> Okay. Um, two things. I think he's a self test, so I don't think he can teleport. And I think he switches out proactive double. Can I afford to? The thing is, I can't really afford. I'm gonna go laddie. Uh, I want to teleport there. But I don't think I can afford. Because if I get. If he hits me with the water move. Then I have a really hard time with Cartana later on. Yeah, I made the right move. Okay. No burn still. I wouldn't mind a burn, because then I can't get toxic. But, done. That's fine. So who's coming in? His guys must be low. Like, super low. I will, uh... Honestly, who's coming in? Probably Rabombi, right? I'm gonna Thunderbolt. Because I think he switches. He doesn't. Give me that full para. Fuck me. I think I live, though. Yeah. I'm just begging to get frozen here, though. Motherfuck. So. Thing is, if I Thunderbolt here, or Ice Beam even, no I can't Ice Beam. If I Thunderbolt, and Slowbro goes down, Laddie's a lot less important to keep. So the low health doesn't matter as much. So I think I'm down for that. I think I'm down. Because if he tries to go Bombi here, and I knock it out, then that's huge. Yes. That is, quite honestly, very big for me. That's the first KO of the game, I think. Pat Mac has to do a shot. <laughs> he doesn't know this. I should have let him know. Wow, first KO. We're running out of time on both of our sides. Okay. Here's the thing, Lydie kind of cleans up. Unless Cartana's Scarf, which it probably is. Right? Uh, Grim Snarl also needs a bit more chip, but it's getting worn down because the rocks are toxic. 
getting rid of slow is amazing. So that's actually great for Weavile. Because I assume our no. I mean Weavile is pretty good against Slowbro, but still not a great matchup. Okay. Um every time he's brought this mon in, I've went to Diancy, and he's proactively switched out without making a move. Therefore, I'm still gonna do the same thing. Because <laughs> it's just the best play. And if he calls me on it three times, then fine, you know? Good for good for him. But eventually he's he's gotta go for an attack, right? Yeah, okay, he did it. He did it. That's good for me. So now I'm in a good position. So he can Oh wait, Slowbro's alive. It was Robombi who died. Ah, Slowbro's alive, it's so annoying. Either way, I can go for the old Moonblast, or Body Press? How much does Body Press do to cart? Not enough, I'm sure, but... Basically the same as Moonblast, give or take 10%, so I might as well Moonblast. It's annoying that I didn't hit um, with my Diamond Storm earlier, but it's only 90% accurate, you know. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to Moonblast again, because I think that's enough, and if not, whatever, I should live as hit. And if he goes cart, it goes it does way more than Diamond Star, is what I'm thinking. <laughs> could you could you repeat that? The slow room has to poop. Yeah. Is he essentially shedding into the other part of the board? Right. That's a good question. I don't know if you guys heard that, but he's asking if uh, when Slowbro poos, does he poo into the deformed shelter that's attached to his anus? <laughs> no one will ever know. Is that like a weird symbiotic relationship how we feed each other? It's like, um. What's, what's that movie? <laughs> no, uh. <laughs> human centipede. Human centipede. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Literally. Okay. He didn't switch out, which means he attacked me, which means this should do a lot of damage to him. Because I don't think he knocked off last time. Oh, I forgot about fucking Sticky Whip. I need to keep that in mind. That's super important. He knocked... Pardon? Sticky Web will last the entirety of the game unless I have hazard removal, which I do not actually have on this particular build of my team. Because okay. uh, I, honestly, I didn't think he would bring Sticky Web, and uh, that's on me. I will, but that's okay. My best attacker has an item that doesn't, it like ignores Sticky Web and all other hazards. I'm impressed you have all these answers, but still don't think about the slow burn shooting into the Thank you, Jen. That's, yeah, that's TV's Unsolved Mysteries, in a nutshell. Okay, I don't know what to do here. Um, I might, I think he's gonna switch, but if I don't recover it, I'm useless next time I switch in. <clears throat> uh, I think I'm gonna teleport, though, because I... Yeah, okay, he's not Scarf, that's pretty good to know. Okay, so our canine is basically dead, if I switch it back in. Um, that's fine. I can go with the Stig. Stig! In fact, the Stig might even clean up here. Got her. Who's he got left? Moltres, who's fucked. Um, Slowbro, who's gonna die for sure. The Stig actually might clean up. Hold up a minute. The fact that he switched moves there means I know he's not Choice Scarf, which means I can easily go for Knock, which means... Big time knockout okay, on Cartana. Shot here. Cart no. For him. Shot for him. No. I still haven't actually lost a Mon. 
Even though all of my guys are at like 10%. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's all about keeping them alive. For whatever reason. Okay. You know what? I actually might just win here. Potentially. Potentially. Defe it really depends how... It if he dodges this hit, then I c maybe throw the game? It's a 90% accurate move. But if I hit it, I should just clean up from here. So I'm gonna go for it. I might as well. Unless he's super defensive. He's not. Amazing. Moltres is gonna die. Slowbro is gonna die. Garchomp's gonna die. Fellas, there's a chance Weavile might just win the game here. This is why it's my first pick. True. The Stig? The Stig. <laughs> Zomzay. It's a good mod. I might as well do one... Um... Yeah, I went... So, just... For some clarity here. I went Ice Skull Crash so that I, uh, oh, Ice Shard should kill, right? I don't have to risk the miss. Just, I want to confirm with the old damage calc. 14 min? Yeah, that should kill. Uh, I went Ice Skull Crash because I was afraid of Triple Axel getting the triple chance to Flame Body burn me. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Okay. Shark Week, baby. Shark Week. If he Scarf, I actually live in Earthquake. So that's fine. Ozihachi. Okay. I should still live unless he has a super effective hit. Interesting you went Yachi when I have triple axle, but I guess that makes some sense. Stomping tantrum, nice. Grassy terrain, coming in clutch, even if it's um That did so much. That did more than I thought. Uh grassy terrain, you know? Doing its thing even when it's not a factor. I think uh, I think Weevil's gonna pull it out here. I think I think his best chance was to swap around a few times with Slowbro to get out of range of knockoff and then like body press me if he had it. Um, the stick pulls it off. Okay, I'm really stoked about this win. Nothing like a 6-0 and like. That was a fucking close 6-0, I think. I think if Weavile wasn't doing what it did, that was anyone's game. <laughs> right? Like, I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say. It was super close, and I just happened to have the Mon that uh, cleaned up at the end. But, guys, I've got some Jameson, and I've got some Mountain Dew Flamin' Hot. This is g <laughs> fucking gamer fuel, if you've ever seen it. And, uh... We're gonna do a little poke shot. Honestly, it's not bad. It's just Mountain Dew with, with a le little extra kick. Um, thanks for tuning in. Um, catch me next week. Oh, next week I play Vepsis. So that is like the biggest game of my life. Uh, other than like, you know, high profile playoff games. Vepsis, he's like the best player ever. So I'm gonna, I'm excited to test myself against him and uh, catch me next week. Thanks for watching.